meet teacher Joyce and like you she also struggles in mathematics what that was before don't worry teacher Joyce is willing to help you let us start our mathematics video tutorial lesson 5 rounding numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands objective the learner should be able to Round of numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. Review In our previous lesson, we compare numbers using relation symbols such as less than, greater than, and equals. To test your mastery, let's compare 28,141 and 28,241. We will use the relation symbol such as less than, greater than, and equals. The 10,000s digit is both 2, so they are all equal. The 1,000s digit is 8. They are again equal. 100s digit are 1 and 2. 2 is bigger than 1. Therefore, 28,241 is bigger than 28,141. Note that the open side of the symbol is facing the larger number, which is 28,241. And the arrowhead is pointing at the smaller number, which is 28,141. Therefore, 28,141 is less than 28,241. If you still have question about comparing numbers up to 100,000 using relation symbol, you can click the provided link on the description box below. If you have mastered the previous lesson, let's now start our discussion. Rounding numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. I know you're wondering, what does rounding off means? Rounding number means making a number simpler but keeping its value close to what it was. The result is not accurate but it is easier to use. How do we round off numbers, most especially in nearest thousands? So, we will just follow a simple step. Step 1 is to determine which digit is in the thousands place. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s. In this example, 4 is in the thousands place. Let's put an underline to show that 4 is the digit we need to round off. Then, step 2. All the digits smaller than the thousands digit will be replaced with 0. Those are the digits in the right of 4. So 8 will become 0, 7 will become 0, and 5 will become, become 0. Then, copy all the digits higher than the thousands digit. Those were the digit to the left. In this example, the digit to the left of 4 is 6. So we will just simply copy the digit now, how about the digit that we need to round off? We can keep the digit the same or we can increase it by 1. If we keep the digit, we are rounding down the number. Take note that even if the digit to be rounded stays the same, the next digit to its right were replaced by 0. So, the value of the rounded number becomes smaller. That's why it is called rounded down. While if you can add 1 to the digit that to be rounded, even if the next digit to its right were replaced by zeros, the value of the rounded number become bigger. That's why it is called rounded up. To determine if we can keep the same digit or if we increase it by 1, we need to check if the next digit to the right is less than 5. So numbers that is less than 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4. 
If it is less than 5, you just need to copy or retain the digit to be rounded. For this example, the digit we need to check is 5 and it is not less than 5. So 64,000 is incorrect. With that, we need to again check if the digit to its right is exactly 5 and above. Those numbers are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Since the digit is 5, we need to add 1 to the thousands digit. So 4 plus 1 is 5. Therefore, 64,578 rounded off to the nearest thousand is 65,000. Let's have another example. Let's again try to round off 49,681 to the nearest thousands. To do that, we will just follow a simple steps. Step 1. Determine which digit is in the thousands place. 1s, 10s, 100s, thousands. 9 is in the thousands place. Let's put an underline to show that 9 is the digit that we need to round off. Step 2. All the digits smaller than the thousands digit will be replaced by 0. Those are the digit in the right of 9. So, 1 will become 0, 8 will become 0, 6 will become 0. Then, copy all the digit that is higher than the thousands digit. Those were the digit to the left. In this example, the digit is 4. We will just simply copy the digit. Now, how about the digit we need to round off? To determine if we can keep the same digit or if we will increase it by 1, we need to check if the digit to the right of the underlying digit is less than 5. Those number that is less than 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4. Or if it is exactly 5 and above, those number are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Since the digit is 6, we need to add 1 to the digit that needs to be rounded. So, 9 plus 1 is 10. In this case, the answer is in two digits. So, 0 will be on the thousands place, then 1 will be added to the 10 thousands digit. Therefore, 49,681 rounded off to the nearest thousand is 50,000. Let's try to round off numbers to the nearest 10 thousands. Let's try to round off 82,984 to the nearest 10 thousand. Step 1. Determine which digit is in the 10 thousand place. 1s, 10s, 100 thousands, 10 thousands. 8 is in the 10 thousands place. So let's put an underline to show that 8 is the digit that we need to round off. Step 2. All the digits smaller than the 10 thousands digit will be replaced with 0. Those are the digit in the right of 8. So 4 will become 0, 8 will become 0, 9 will become 0, and 2 will become 0. Then. Copy all the digit that is higher than the thousands digit. In this example, no digit is higher than the ten thousands digit. So we will now proceed to the next step. Now, how about the digit we need to round off to determine if we can keep the same digit or if we can increase it by one? We need to check if the next digit to the right of the underlined digit is less than five. Those number are 1, 2, 3, 4, or if it is exactly 5 and above. Those number are 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Since the digit is 2 and it is less than 5, we will just simply copy the digit in the 10 thousands place. Therefore, 82,984 rounded off to the nearest 10 thousands 
is 80. Let's have another example. Let's try to round off 99,287 to the nearest 10 thousands. Step 1. Determine which digit is in the 10 thousands place. 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10 thousands. 9 is in the 10 thousands place. And let's put an underline to show that 9 is the digit that we need to round off. Step 2. All the digits smaller than the 10 thousands digit will be replaced with 0. Those are the digits in the right of 9. So 7 will become 0, 8 will become 0, 2 will become 0, and 9 will become 0. Then copy all the digits higher than the 10 thousands digit. In this example, no digit is higher than the 10 thousands digit, so we can proceed to step 3. Now, how about the digit that we need to round off to determine if we keep the same digit or if we increase it by 1? We need to check if the next digit to the right of the underlying digit is less than 5, such as 1, 2, 3, 4, or if it is exactly 5 and above such as 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Since the digit is 9 and it belongs to 5 and above, we will increase the digit by 1. So, 9 plus 1 is equals to 10. Since the answer is in two-digit number, 0 will be in the 10 thousands place and 1 will be in the 100 thousands place. Therefore, 99,287 rounded off to the nearest 10 thousands is 100,000. Remember, in rounding numbers, identify the rounding place first. If the digit to the right of the rounding place is below 5, round the number down by changing the rest of the digits to the right into 0. If the digit to the right of the rounding place is 5 or greater than 5, round the number up by changing the rest of the digit to the right into 0 and adding 1 to the digit in the rounding place. Now, get a pen and paper. To check your mastery in 5 minutes, I want you to round off numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. Ready? Your timer starts now.
Let's check your work! Number 1. 25,734 rounded off to the nearest thousand is 26,000 and to the nearest 10,000 is 30,000. Number 2. 54,234 rounded off to the nearest thousand is 54,000 and to the nearest 10,000 is 50,000. Number 3. 24,567 Rounded off to the nearest thousand is 25,000 and rounded off to the nearest 10,000 is 20,000. Number 4, 67,456 rounded off to the nearest thousand is 67,000 and to the nearest 10,000 is 70,000. Number 5 is 95,346 rounded off to the nearest thousand is 95,000 and to the nearest 10,000 is 100,000. Did you get the perfect score? Good job! That's all for today. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, ang mahirap the math problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Bye-bye! See you in our next lesson!